I'll send you your favorite food, cucumber, growing in the neighborhood. The water temperature in pond is going to drop, so please take care of yourself. Sincerely, Mom. Hey everyone, welcome to Swaybay Anime. Other than that, let's begin. So today we're going to talk about what is a kappa. So today we're going to be talking about kappas, basically. And so if some of you may know, you may see these little monsters on TV or in anime or in scary Japanese movies. But a kappa is basically kind of like a turtle, but not like a turtle, but like kind of like this demon that lives in a lake that's ready to attack you at any moment. And he wants your ass. Like, literally, he wants your ass. Like, he wants this little orb that's in your ass that he just wants to take it so that he can get power, right? So, this had caused me to go on this adventure online to figure out what is a kappa, right? Um, and basically, I just wanted to share this story with you all. According to Japanese legend, a kappa is a mythical monster that's, that's said to inhabit ponds and rivers in Japan. Kappas are considered to be a type of sujin. Hopefully, I said that right. Uh, sujin, which is like a water deity. According to legend, the kappa is fond of causing mischief and even harm to humans. Basically, the kappa loves to prank people as well as um, farting, as well as looking under women's kimono. So they're like very mischievous, right? But some kappas are very violent and they're known to drown people in general, like children, livestock, people in general. Although kappas are generally considered a force to be reckoned with, there are some instances in which that kappas are considered very generous. So in some cases that you can even, if you win a kappa's heart and you outwit a kappa, you're able to own them as a pet kinda, or as a soldier in your demon army, basically. So you can have a legion of kappas and then you can use that kappa to get more kappa. And you can be like, you can be like Ash, catch them and you can catch them all, catch all the kappas. Um, until you have a legion of legion of demons working for you who can help you take over Japan, basically, or the world. But they live in fresh water, so the world, rest of the water is salt. So I don't know how they're going to fare out there, unless they're sea kappas. So remember that butt ball I told you about earlier? The kappas are coming for your ass? Well, it's called Shiri Kodoma, which basically is a ball within your anus. It's like the soul. The soul is in your ass, right? So kappas are obsessed with that. Some people speculate that kappas were kind of real, actually, but not as real as we think. Uh, they speculate that kappas may have been like big turtles in Japanese freshwater areas, and that a lot of times turtles have also been known to drown people. So the fact that the two have been drowning people basically in rivers and people associated that with kappas, well, if you're naked and you have testicles, and turtles may think that's a nice snack, so they try to grab it, <laughs> you know. And that can also be a reason why a lot of people have drowned. Um, in addition to that, a lot of dead bodies would end up around watering holes in Japan, you know, in general, right? Because people will probably die from drowning, et cetera, right? And because of that, uh, a lot of times uh, animals would get to it again, maybe the turtle, right? And so a lot of people have prolapsed anuses in the water. So basically their butt will just give up life and their anus will prolapse. And please don't look up prolapse anus. If you don't know what it is, don't look it up. Anyway, um, and so that made the idea of like making think that like kappas were still in the Shima Kodoma. Like what is this thing that they're afterwards? Like why would they care so much about this thing? Like why is it, why do we keep finding people with prolapse anuses in bodies of water? I'm not a scientist, don't ask me either. However, even though kappas are very like creepy in some ways and they have been known to uh, trigger warning a uh, sexual assault women, I do think kappas have now gotten a better rap in today's society than in the past. Whereas kappas are seen like cute, fun friends that you can make along your journey. While historically they're seen as devious, evil creatures that you can own an army of, they're also terrible, terrible, terrible little things. Also, another fun fact about kappas, kappas are obsessed with politeness and will return a bow. When they bow, they usually spill out the water, which means that the kappa can be defeated and die, which means that you can own that kappa. And that's how you get the kappa power if you like give them water, basically. However, kappas are still known to be extremely intelligent. They're just very polite. So check out my next video on how to defeat a kappa. Come to you soon. And remember that turtles are dangerous too and that they can be kappas in the waiting, waiting to get that ass. Other than that, this has been Sway Bay Anime. Peace.